What's up, Internet? This has been the Bearded Coffee Blogger, and I am here at my mom's house with my two brothers, Andy and Clay, and we're going to do a coffee tasting for you. We have a pretty cool coffee today. We have, this is Gray House Roasters out of Amory, Mississippi, and this is Andy. This is your brother-in-law's coffee. Mark's coffee. Now, what, what, what do you know about his operation? What's he doing? You know, it's really, it's really a, a small, real small operation uh, roasting out of his house. Um, but he roasts for some for some local coffee shops and uh, just kind of does it does it as a hobby, uh, sells it locally. Um, but I've had some pretty good coffees from him. Very cool. So you can find it's Gray House two words. You can find Gray House online on Facebook, I believe, is where you can find them right now. Maybe Instagram or they on Instagram. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, but I know Facebook for sure. So today we have this is a Burundi Kayanza Yagakawa Station. Uh, is what we're about to try. I don't know a ton about uh, Burundi's. Um, not quite my usual cup of tea, although I've had some good ones. But we're about to about to uh, taste this guy. We'll start off with the sniffy sniff. See what we smell. I think I just smelled the soap that I washed my hands with. <laughs> Now, as as usual, as we're smelling here, we brewed this uh, on a Kalita wave with a 16 to 1 ratio, uh, which is my normal method. Man, I'm getting some sort of spiciness. Um, I think some cinnamon. I'm getting a little bit of that. What do you think, Clay? Yeah, I would agree with that. I am by no means a coffee expert. I'm quite the amateur. So a little bit of baked, like baked cherry or something almost. Baked cherry. So baked cherry, cinnamon, a little bit of spiciness. We're gonna go ahead and sip it and see what we think. What you think? Different, some chocolatey notes. Yeah. Light, very subtle fruit notes. Not a whole lot there. Clay. Um. Again, I don't really know what I'm tasting. <laughs> tastes yeah, like I mean, coffee. you can just say the, uh, thoughts. You don't have to necessarily. I mean, it's a very drinkable coffee. There's nothing that is extreme on either end. It's not extremely sweet. It's not extremely bitter. It's a middle-of-the-road kind of coffee. It's, it's smooth. It's got a... Yeah, it's smooth. So for me, pretty good weight. Like medium yeah. to heavy I was gonna say the medium body yep. on this coffee. And then the thing that I notice, it, two things. One, the acidity, I don't really get like floral or real fruity acidity. I get kind of like a dry, yeah. like, yeah, like crushed nuts. That. Almost the finish yeah. of some red wines. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. But... So, so yeah, red wine, whiny, sort of grapey, but like plum yeah. more. Yep. Yeah. Um, kind of the sharp acidity. And then astringent the way that some teas will make your mouth feel kind of dry mm -hmm. after you drink them. That's kind of what I'm getting. So it's kind of a finished thing. Um, but almost like you took uh, pecans, crushed them up, and they're, and they're in this, and, and you're, you've e you're eating them, and your mouth's kind of like dry, you know. But not in a bad way, in a pleasing way. Yep. I, again, the main thing I know about Burundi's, I think, if I'm not mistaken, is that they can suffer from potato defect, which is where a bug gets in the coffee plant and it tastes like potatoes. And apparently there's not really a way to track whether or not a Burundi's going to have potato defect or not. This one does not. I don't, nope. I don't get weird. any sort of a potato -y taste or smell to it. So that's really good. And, and I think kind of like that Mediterranean 
spice thing that I kind of expect from Burundi is just there. Yeah. So this is really well done. Subtle spice. I actually, I really like the body on this. A lot of times, at least with some, you know, with some Africans, it's it's uh, it's so acidic and bright. Yeah. Um, that I don't like the finish on it, but this has a good body to it. I like yeah. the finish. Yeah. So this is a heavier. I agree with the smooth kind of once you get. To me, once I kind of get past that kind of whiny, grapey thing, which is a little, like, woo, right at first, like, it's really pleasing. And that's a lot of, lots of times the acidity, you, your mouth kind of has to get used to it, I think, right at first, yeah. and then a coffee becomes really pleasing. So we're not going to rate this just because we personally know the roaster and, you know, don't want to, don't want to in any way favor one way or the other. Uh, but I will say, just not rating it, this is a really great coffee and well, probably... One of the better Burundis I've had. Well done, Mark. Yeah. Very good. So uh, definitely go check out Gray House Roasters on Facebook. Again, Gray House. There's a different Gray House. It's one word. This is two words. A gray House, two words, Roasters on Facebook. And specifically, if you're in Mississippi, for sure, or some coffee from them. Um, really well done. Look forward to trying some other Gray House Actually, stuff. I think they carry this coffee at Farmhouse in West Point, Mississippi. It's a local... Uh, uh, I think they sell fresh cut meats to deli. They sell sandwiches Very and they, cool. they sell sell coffee as well. And I think they carry Grey House uh, at Farmhouse in West Point. And that's Grey House with an E, not the British way with an A. <laughs> Thanks, Clay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you spell Grey with an E or an A by default? Good question. Here's a more important question before we end. Favorite Christmas tradition? Ooh, that's tough. I don't know if I could pick a favorite. One of my favorites is the week after Thanksgiving. It's tradition in our house. We always watch Home Alone with the boys. Mm -hmm. It's kind of how we kind of kickstart the, the Christmas season. We, we watch Home Alone, then we go pick out a tree. So, Cool. Clay? Yeah, Black Friday we always get a tree and decorate, which is fun. Um, but my favorite tradition is on Christmas night we always go and get Chinese. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know what my favorite one is, but w one of the little ones we do that is always a lot of fun that just makes it feel like Christmas to me is going to a good Starbucks. Um, even though I'm not a lover of all things Starbucks, but just they usually it's usually decorated for Christmas. So they got the Christmas music playing, and we go get very sweet, sugary <laughs> drinks that my kids <laughs> love, uh, and and we just enjoy it. So that's one of my favorite ones. Just hanging out at Starbucks with the family and with my little kids and. Getting them sugared up on hot chocolate. I feel that. Yeah. I'm, I'm a fan of the Cranberry Bliss bar. Yeah. That's Ooh. good. Yeah. It's good stuff. Cranberry Bliss. Nice. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you're having a great Christmas. And we're, today is December 26th here. Uh, and so we're headed into the new year and enjoying time in Mississippi with family. Hope you guys are having an awesome time. And have a good night. Peace. We'll see you.